here in September of last year from Orlando, Florida? You know, of course, a majority of people fled, you know, <laughs> and I don't blame them. But there were a good handful of, of people who just, random people who were just coming in asking if anybody needed help. So, I mean, who, you know, yeah, you just, again, you always have those people who just go into autopilot and they just start doing whatever they can, not thinking of whether another bomb's going to go off or, you know, anything like that. They're just trying to help out. So, uh, you know, there, was, there wasn't a lot of people, but there was a good handful of people that were there immediately. The injuries that we saw primarily were blast injuries that involved the knee to the ankle, uh, very significant leg injuries uh, with a couple of near amputations. The, uh, they were open fractures, significant muscle injury, significant nerve injuries, and vascular injuries in these patients. Blast injuries uh, did all contain shrapnel of some type. The shrapnel that was removed was mostly small metallic objects, um, hard to identify. They were very small fragments ranging from maybe a centimeter in size to a few millimeters in size. Um, hard to tell what they represented. I did not identify any nails or anything that were any um, metallic objects that were um, easily identifiable. One woman from the blast had an, uh, a piece of a zipper, the handle of a zipper embedded in her ankle joint, uh, which is, is indicative of the force of the explosion. Um, 